Kip up. Finn Balor, I believe he is in cahoots with Liv Morgan. A lot of people think that Dominic Mysterio is working with Liv Morgan. Maybe, but I think it's more clearly Finn Balor at this point based on the storytelling that we've gotten so far. Why do I think that? Well, Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor, and JD have all spoken to Liv Morgan. If you remember, Dom Mysterio said that, um, hey, um, I can't help that girls like me. That's his explanation. Liv Morgan is coming on to me. I can't help that. She likes me. Hey, I'm I'm a good looking guy. Well, I can't help that, all right? That's Dom's explanation. JD has said, hey, Liv Morgan talked to me, but I told her, hey, Rhea Ripley will take that belt. The only person who has not answered for talking to Liv is Finn Balor. Now, to be fair, nobody has out, outright called him out on it, right? Nobody said, hey, Finn, you've been talking to Liv Morgan. What's up with that, right? But if you're looking closely, Damon Priest was talking to JD McDonough, the number one stunner. He said, hey, I know you're talking to Liv. He looked directly at Finn Balor, directly at him. Is it because you're too busy talking to Liv? I will show it to you, but WWE would take it down, take down the stream. So I'll just post it in the chat, okay? So I tweeted this earlier. And he looked directly at Finn Balor. See that? Look right at him. So Finn Balor has been talking to Liv Morgan. Damian Priest knows it, and he hasn't really called him out on it for whatever reason. And I like this storytelling because it's clear that Finn Balor is hiding something. I believe he is in cahoots with Liv Morgan in particular. Out of everybody she's been talking to, JD, Don Mysterio, Finn Balor has been the most corrupted, if you want to use that word. He's been the most enthralled with Liv Morgan's talk. I'm telling you, Finn Balor is working with Liv Morgan. Damon Priest knows he's talking to Liv, but he doesn't know the extent of it. He just knows that he's talking to her. I believe this is a story here. Finn Balor is the one who is in cahoots, mainly. I believe, and you see here, once he looks back at him, he turns, he looks back at J JD, right? So he knows that Finn Balor is talking to Liv Morgan. This is storyline. Because right now, Finn Balor is really upfront about his like disapproval of Dominic Mysterio talking to um, Liv Morgan. He's like, oh, get away from him. Stay away from him, Liv Morgan. He's in cahoots with Liv Morgan. I'm telling you. All right. Finn Balor cannot be trusted. Now, it's reasonable that Finn Balor can act like this because JD uh, and um, Dom Mysterio is not going to say anything. But Damian Priest is a bad leader. Damian Priest is busy sending his teammates to go fight freaking Braun Strowman, knowing damn well they're going to get their ass kicked. Or like, go take on Ron Strowman. For all we know, he's going to send Finn Balor after him next week. He's sending his boys to go get their ass kicked by this big-ass dude. And I'm sorry, but Damian Priest is not the best leader. Rhea Ripley was better than him. And right now, because she's gone, it's all falling apart. Finn Balor is working with Liv Morgan. She was in the car with him. She was in the most compromising location. You do know how, how like tight you have to be or what, what kind of conversation you're having if you're talking in the car with somebody? Finn Balor is working with Liv Morgan. Now, the question is, when is this turn going to happen? When is he going to expose himself? It can happen as early as Class of the Castle, potentially, or as late as Money in the Bank. But at some point, it's going to be made clear that Finn here is in cahoots with Liv Morgan. I just don't know when they're going to pull this trigger. Now, when it comes to Dominic Mysterio, at first I thought Dominic Mysterio was being, was being mischievous. He was intentionally fooling everybody, and he was working with Liv Morgan as well. I'm not so sure. If Dominic Mysterio was actively working with Liv Morgan, like actively working with her, the storytelling here wouldn't make much sense. Liv Morgan is going out of her way to tell everybody, hey, Dom likes me, he wants to be around me. If you're trying to fool somebody, if you're trying to trick him, trick the like the audience or the, the Judgment Day, you wouldn't be so upfront about it, right? I believe that Dom is being manipulated. I believe he's being converted by Liv Morgan, but I don't think right now, as it stands, that he's actively trying to help Liv Morgan. I think subconsciously he might like her, subconsciously he might be turning, but right now I think he believes in his mind that he's with Rhea Ripley, he wants to do the right thing by Rhea Ripley in his mind. He's slowly being converted because it's easy to manipulate that dude. The same thing that happened with him and his dad, when Rhea Ripley turned him against his dad, Liv Morgan do the same thing. It's a slow thing. But I do not think anymore that Dominic Mysterio is in cahoots with Liv Morgan right now. Finn Balor is. Finn Balor for sure, maybe JD, because JD and Finn Balor are close, but I know for a fact that Finn Balor is talking to Liv Morgan and he is in cahoots. That's what the storytelling is telling me. That's where the swerve is gonna come. He's the one right now who's all up front. Don't talk to Dominic Mysterio, stay away from him. 
he's the one that's working with Liv Morgan. It's Finn. Classic Castle, Money in the Bank, one of the two. But at this point, I'm relatively sure that the big turning point will be when Finn Balor turns on Damian Priest. I just don't know when it's going to happen. You think Dom is innocent, but Finn is, yeah. I think Finn is on Liv Morgan's side. Dominic right now thinks he's on Rhea's side. Alex has a good point. They solved the Braun Strowman situation because Liv Morgan went out there and protected Dom. And that stopped Braun Strowman in his tracks, right? So that's the scene that's a win. She helped him out and Priest was not out there. That visual of Liv Morgan, JD and Dom, that's a new judgment day, folks. That's it. Now, when will that be the judgment day? I don't know, but that lineup of Liv, JD, Finn, and Dom, that'll be the judgment day. And the person that will be the most conflicted will be Dom. He's going to be one to be most conflicted here. Once he turns to Liv Morgan, he's still going to have feelings for Rhea Ripley. And you're going to have to choose. Dom will have to choose between the two. Rhea Ripley will be trying to say, Dom, what's going on here? Like, what, what are you doing? And Liv Morgan will say, Dom, come on. We're in a new family now. Come on with us. Come with Finn. Come with JD. Come with us now. We're your new family. That's the dilemma. That is the tension in the in this whole dynamic. It will be with Dom. Dom had to decide. You have to choose. There'll be some match. Watch. I guarantee you. It'll be Liv Morgan against Rhea Ripley. Dom will come out there and he'll have to make a decision on the spot. Who you who are you rolling with? Who you choose? Liv Morgan or Rhea Ripley? Yeah, you have to choose in the moment. And whether it goes with Liv Morgan, could Rhea Ripley be babyface at that point? If you go with Liv Morgan, then that's the storyline. Dom has chosen Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley is left out in the cold, uh, metaphorically speaking, or he'll choose Rhea Ripley and turn against JD and Finn. Because Rhea Ripley and Damon Priest will be on one side and Liv, Finn, and JD be on the other side and Dominic will have to choose. And that'd be a big moment within the story. I truly believe at this point that Dom is innocent. Slowly but surely he's being corrupted and being turned, but he doesn't know it. It's a genuine reaction. The stuff that happened with Liv Morgan is genuine. Finn is the problem. Finn is the danger for Damian Priest. Finn is the guy who's working with Liv Morgan actively. I believe. Could be wrong. Dijak could be a cool Priest replacement. And I think you're right. Dijak, Liv Morgan, Finn, JD. That's a solid judgment day. I think Finn should be presented as the leader next to Liv Morgan. So it'd be Finn and Liv, just like it was uh, Priest and Rhea. It'd be Finn and Liv. But I think that kind of works out in my head. Priest, Rhea out on this side. Dom had to make a decision. Liv Morgan, JD, Finn, and then yeah, I love the idea of D Dijax. That'd be a great way to use him. So that makes sense in my head. I think Liv Morgan is working with Finn Balor. That's where the storylines are going. It makes too much sense because he's the only one who hasn't been called out on it. He's the only person who has talked to Liv Morgan off screen. You know what I said about last, last stream about off screen conversations. It's off screen for a reason, right? We have not seen Liv Morgan talk to Damian Priest yet at all, right? I think when that happens, it'll be on a screen. We'll see the Damian Priest Liv Morgan discussion on screen. You know how backstage, when there's a camera, right? The camera isn't actually there, right? It's like a TV show, a fly on the wall kind of perspective, right? The only time the cameraman is actually there is when there's an interview session. Let's say um, Caleb Braxton interviewing somebody. He's talking to the camera. The cameraman is holding the camera and the cameraman is in there. So a wrestler could go in there and punch the cameraman, right? He's part of the scene. Whereas with the some other backstage segments, like a TV show or a movie, the cameraman is there, but he's not actually there. The camera is there for the audience, for the sake of the audience, right? So we haven't seen an actual backstage segment that's genuine yet between Liv Morgan and Finn, between Liv Morgan and JD, between Liv Morgan and Dom, or between Priest. We know she talked to those three, but we haven't seen the actual conversation, like the fly on the wall perspective yet. Until we see that, None of these people can really be trusted, right? We have seen some interaction between Finn Balor and Dom backstage, like after um, Damon Priest walked away. And again, the cameraman is there, but just for the sake of us, he's not actually there, right? This is a fly in the wall perspective. At that point, he's talking to Dominic Mysterio as if, I mean, if they were in cahoots together, once Damon Priest walked away, there'd be no reason for him to like keep the roots alive, right? There's no reason for him to do that. Again, the cameraman isn't actually there. So, until I see an actual backstage segment that clears these dudes, they're all suspicious, but I think Finn is by far the most likely. And I just think it makes more sense because I don't, it doesn't make sense for Liv Morgan to be actively telling the world, hey, I'm turning Dom, guys. Dom likes me if he's working with her. It doesn't make any sense. You would try to keep that under wraps. You would try to pretend like it's not happening, but she's actively telling the world, I'm converting Dominic Mysterio 
it already happened, I already got him, but let's pretend like I'm doing it in real time. Doesn't make any sense. So I think Dom is genuinely conflicted. And Finn Balor is the man who was pulling the strings with Liv Morgan.